Hi everyone and welcome back. It's been ages since I've done a video and I'm sorry about that but it's been a bit crazy here but look at all these goodies. I'm very excited to finally do my Tetro Kaigi. I'm hoping it all stays how my brain has said that it will but it might not but that's okay that's half the fun of it. So let's start with the work stuff because I've already set these two up but then the rest of them uh, I will walk you through what I'm going to use them for and what's inside. I'll see you in a sec. Okay so the first ones I have here are my work planners. I was going to do them in order of size uh, then I thought no let's just go through what we're using them for. So I've already done this on my channel so I won't be I won't spend a lot of time on it, but this is the beautiful Go Merry logbook cover in A5 and it's the Thousand Suns, I think this is called, from the One Piece range. Uh, it, the leather has changed already, you can see inside here, this is how it came and now it has this very, well to my eye it's a very strong patina, but it's still very pretty colour. It still has that peachy pink tone. I'm hoping it's coming out for you there. Uh, I actually had this inside of the little bag that it comes in, but I had this on top of it. And I had it sitting in a space where the sun was shining and it actually formed, oh, you can still see it just here. It formed a rectangle of um, missingness where that book was sitting so it definitely patinas up pretty quickly all right so what i have in here is my work planner i have a nine to five job as national sales manager for a not-for-profit company and i need to be able to track my sales team my customer service team our budgets our revenue all of our strategic goals everything like that so i've put that inside of a Hobonichi cousin. I love the cousin so much. Um, I've got a video where I made this front cover if you'd like to go and watch that. I've just changed it out to have the standard Midori A5 cover on it. I did have a codex on here but I needed the codex for another book so I just got a standard one and it fits fine. It's a little bit sticking up here but as it I've just put it on literally five minutes ago so as it wears in that will flatten out no problem. On the side here I just have a little pink Oli clip and some to-do uh, sticky notes from May Paper Co and a little Viva card that comes with the cover and I just love this um, embossing here it's so pretty and it's coming up really nicely as it patinas so the cousin will be used for um, just work planning um, I will record anything in here that is big for personal stuff in case it takes up time but that'll just be in the calendar I think so um, yeah that's it I've got my Sarasa Grand pen in here but it does have uh, uni one ink in it because I do love the uni one ink and so alongside this planner this will sit on my desk I'll probably do a bit of deco in here not a lot but uh, it's not for other people to look at and I won't be taking it to meetings this is the little book I'm going to take to meetings this is just a Midori B6 slim I've put this little um Oh, cardboard cover in here just to add a bit of cuteness and to match along here with my um, planner as well and this is just simply simply a b6 slim notebook from Midori and it has the lined pages not in love with the lined pages I gotta say but actually I take a lot of notes and I do them in a very messy way <laughs> so this is what I will take to meetings I'll take this along with my phone and uh, there is a pen loop as well so I will pop a pen in there and that's what I'll take to meetings with me. So super compact and that's what I'm after. So that's the two work planners. So next up I want to talk about personal journaling. So this is an A6 Hon, the first time I've had the Hon. I've got the clear cover on it as you can see probably there, yes. But I'm not sure I'm going to keep it on. I do really like the fabric and I find the plastic to just be a bit much on here. Uh, it has 2024 embossed in there in gold. It looks very pretty 
and also here on the spine and with the Hon label at the bottom there. So this is just like the ordinary A6. The inside, the end papers are slightly different, but the rest of the book is exactly the same as the stand A6 original. And what I'm gonna use this for is just private journaling. This is gonna live on my bedside table and uh, this is a big year for me so uh, in terms of um, hitting a milestone age and so i just want to record my life at that at this age and i thought this would be a good way to do it if you've been watching for a while you know i have a five-year journal at the moment i have fallen off the bandwagon with that so this is going to replace that for this year i just can't keep up with the five year and that's okay um, I'm going to say goodbye to it and move into this guy. So I love the A6 size, which you'll see by the rest of my um, lineup here. So that's going to be for private journaling. Probably no deco unless I feel like doing deco. I might even just do the front pages um, and I don't know, maybe a sticker here and there, but no plans to decorate this one. It's just for words. So this is one place where they're going, there's going to be a lot of stickers. <laughs> so um, this is a Midori one day, one page A6 book. And I love this book. I've seen it so many times. It has story of 2024 written on the front there. It has some uh, yearly calendars, then the monthlies, uh, quite minimal. And then we just move into dailies that look like this just with the square brackets at the top for the date if you wanted to some dots here for a focus or for the start of the day and then eight till midnight down the side here and um this is going to be my collage journal so it sounds weird to do collage in this with lines and things here but i've seen people doing it and it looks so good i really love it i think it's nice having that base there you can write a few lines here to um talk about your spread or the feelings you're having while you're doing those particular collages and while this does have um 2024 in here it may last me longer and i'm totally fine with that it doesn't it doesn't bother me so i'll just do collage journaling when i feel like it the work planner and the hon are dailies every day i should touch those but this one will just be when i feel like it and i might do like a few pages at a time the fact that this has calendars at the front doesn't really bother me. So that's the collage journal. I thought I would bring these two in together because, well, they're so cute. So these are the Yumi Kirigishi covers from Hobonichi. I've got the clear covers on both of them as well. I'm not sure, again, if I'm going to keep them on there. But I have in here... My Hobonichi cousin, I'm, I will decorate this in some way. I've got it in the clear codex cover from Midori. So the codex, because I am definitely going to chunk this one up. So this is going to be for memory journaling. So I absolutely love this weekly section. I love using all my little character stickers to um, signify what happened throughout the day. And then journaling at the end. I'll just show you what I've been doing this year. So I grabbed uh, an Avec that I had left over, uh, wasn't using for something, something else, and decided to jump in and do what I wanted to do in here, just to see. I have done it before in other years, but I just wanted to make sure I could still be happy to do it. So this is the kind of thing that I'm doing in my weekly section, makes me happy. I've done, I don't know, nine or ten weeks of this straight so far, and haven't missed anything at all just loving it and then my weekly I'm sorry my daily sections look something like this just a bit of journaling um, with stickers and photos of the things that have happened ephemera and all sorts of lovely things happening in here it's just a really nice happy happy little place for me uh, I don't do this every day but I do fill it for every day um, so I will go back and do a few days at a time but I tend to do that, those weekly sections every day so this this section here does get filled out so that's the cousin for memory journal and this little this little companion here I have in here a Midori blank notebook and I'm going to use this as my creative journal so 
different to collage, uh, which is in this one day, one page, where I have a very specific plan for that. In here, it's just going to be experimenting and playing, um, maybe a bit of junk journaling in here as well. Uh, if I have um, like ephemera and favorites and things like that, I'll do that in here. But in here, I just wanted to have a small um, canvas, if you like, to do watercolor, um, anything at all. Anything at all, I just wanted to have in here. And you see that this one is undated because what I'm trying to do this year is set myself up for the years to come. So this one will continue as, so I may only fill, let's say this much of it, you know, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to set up a creative journal that will just follow me as my days progress. So I really love this concept of setting myself up for the future rather than just sticking with a year. There are some things obviously that I want to record for the year, but others I'm happy to keep to a rolling book for future years as well. So those are my two kind of really creative spaces, the memory journaling and the creative journal. So while we're talking about journaling and things, I'll bring out these ones next. This is a brand new edition. You won't have seen this on my channel yet. I didn't do an unboxing because I just got a couple of things when my friend placed an order for me, so for herself and, and grabbed a few things for me as well. So let's take a look at these covers all together. They're all very different. Obviously, we're not going for any kind of theme here for 2024 i'm just going with things that make me smile and make me happy so let's just go through them randomly this one here is the anone anone cover and i've just put the eric cover on cover on here i may not keep that on there i might have no cover on here at all because again this fabric is very nice to touch and then in here i just have a blank Midori notebook again same as in the creative journal and this one is going to be a media journal I last year I collected I don't have the book with me it's it's on the shelf um, I just recorded in the let me show you in the back of um, all of your Hobonichis there's a my 100 list and so in mine last year I recorded every tv series by season that I watched and every movie that I watched and I got I don't know somewhere around here in the half in a half year I did it in a vec so um, I thought what I would do instead is start a media journal but again the media journal is not dated so I can have this for a very long time uh, and if I only do like my very favorite shows or my very favorite movies or books um, or even albums then that so be it that's okay but I just wanted a place to put it and I absolutely adore this cover so I just thought I would set this up as my media journal starting for 2024. Now this guy this is so cute as soon as I saw these I absolutely had to have them this is just plastic it's PVC uh, it may not last very long it may split I don't know it seems okay it seems pretty um, sturdy but it's so cute. It has a pocket here on the front for you to pop things in if you wish to. And then as you saw the pocket on the back as well. And inside of here, I again have a Midori notebook and this one is the grid notebook. And what I'm gonna use this for is a reference book. So I have my own website and um, a couple of them actually and branding. So I wanted to have a place to store on paper all of my colors and fonts and things like that. I do some affiliate work for other people as well. So I want a place to store those kind of codes and things like that. And I have a, um, a few places where I help out with things and I wanted to just be able to have a record of where, uh, somewhere where I could put all of that information in one spot. So I would always have it again, undated. So it can stay with me forever. That's the Apanchu Usagi. This is the new one. This is the Have a Nice Day cover. It is so cute. And uh, if you've been with me for a while, as I said before, then you know that I once tried to start a coffee journal, but it didn't really take off. So this is gonna be a coffee and cafe journal, and it will be a mixture of um, 
I have an espresso machine, so it'll be a mixture of the coffees that I try on there. It'll be coffees from cafes, cafes, cafe reviews in general, but also just things that I feel like writing about in a cafe. So I would take this with me, I would say, to cafe uh, journaling, and mainly if I'm on my own, I, I think. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to try this beautiful cover. It's so nice and compact and slim. I thought about using this for something else, but um, I changed my mind and, I'm, and I've got a different one for that one. So that is the Have a Nice Day little cute cover for cafe journaling. And then I have this Hollyhocks cover. I just kind of had to buy it. I, I just had to. I really wanted it and it just accidentally fell into my cart as I was um, checking out on my second order that I placed for the one piece stuff. So again, it's in the clear cover, which I'm not super fan of, but that's okay. You'll see in the future as we set these up that um, I can change things around. This is going to be my commonplace book. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to use it for. Um, so I have an autoimmune thing and I have um, fibromyalgia as well now. So I want to do, I have done a lot of reading on the two and I've had the autoimmune for a long time. So um, I have notes from that scattered everywhere. So I wanted to record those things, but also just the general commonplace kind of things as well. So anything that I'm reading about or interested in, um, and in learning, then I will, I will record those in here. Um, most likely that's the plan. Uh, this is the one that I'm a bit shaky on what it's going to be for because I have something else as well that's in a similar vein. So well, I'll talk about that when I get to it. But for now, these are my reference book, my, my media journal, my commonplace and my cafe journal. I did think about making this one the cafe journal because it has that kind of coffee coloured vibe. And then this one would be the media journal. And I haven't ruled that out, but at the moment, that's how it's sitting. Okay, so now I'm going to move to a different shape. And you can see here that I have four weeks with me. And I have this book as well. Let's start with this one. This one's been in my lineup for a while, but I've not used it. So this is my Magic Rainbow Happiness Journal. <laughs> and it's just supposed to be a place for me to store um for me to to add photos and quotes and lyrics and things like that that are happy uh, this is meant to be only things that bring joy and a place for you to go back and look at and um you know give yourself a little boost should you need to so uh, i absolutely adore it i just love the cover so this is a midori b6 slim in the grid and it's got the paper cover on it this is the midori paper cover and so i've just covered it with stickers as the back i've put this fabric washi down the spine that i've had for years and i just love it and then um some marshmallow studio washi here um this is a washi gang sticker and then just all the little cute things i am obsessed with this cover and I'm kind of sad at myself that I haven't put anything in it. Um, I think I'm in that I don't want to ruin it phase because the cover is so cute. I mean, in my humble opinion, the cover is so cute. Uh, I'm just a bit scared of messing it up. So I'm going to break that problem and start using it in 2024. So that's the Magic Rainbow Happiness Journal. Not dated. Use it anytime. Have it forever. Now here are my four weeks. Oh my goodness. I'm very excited about having four weeks. Let's take a look at them. I did a poll on Instagram for which of these covers you thought looked best. And um, I think this is not quite how the poll went, but I've also changed things a little. So I used to have just a plain yellow uh, weeks and I had the Opanchu Usagi cover on cover onto it. But my friend in Japan, I asked him to see if he could find me one of the Loft exclusives and he didn't really know what he was looking for. Plus they were sold out and so he thought this was cute and me, so he bought it. So he does know me quite well since I do have a few things from this range. So thank you, Jim. 
So um, this is the Wapanchu Usagi Weeks. I love this spine with this font. It's so cute. The little pantaloons here. And it's just adorable. It has the little Wapanchu Usagi um, die cut here that's got the information on the back about the artist and of course our little pocket um, I'm actually collecting those in a different spot so I don't lose them so I'm going to put them in there now this book is going to be my social media planner I really want to sort myself out with social media properly this this year and um, make a good effort at tracking what's going on and getting content out consistently. I'm usually fairly consistent, but I've just accidentally had a month off. So I didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. So social media planner. This one is going to be my health journal. Uh, if you've been here for a while, you know that I've had a health journal for the whole year and it's been fantastic. So this is the, oh, what's it called? Pale, pale green. Oh, I can't remember what the what the book is called sorry and I've got the Eric cover on cover on there it's pretty cute um I'll just show you my current health journal it's uh in this sojourner cover and it's very coffee monsters co-inspired are just all the things that are going on health wise and some trackers and things that I've set up on the other side as well so um, I'm going to keep that going mostly as is. I'm not going to put it in another cover. I'm just going to have it out like this. And uh, I am planning to change up a little bit how I use these pages, a diff couple of different trackers maybe. And since I'm doing personal journaling in that Hon, I'm not going to do mostly in here. I did little personal snippets, but I think I will split this section here into moods and symptoms and meals and things like that. So um, that's what I'm going to do in there. I then have this gorgeous take a look cover, which I'm definitely going to take out of the plastic cover. It's so pretty. And I'm going to use this one as my personal planner. So currently I'm in my traveler's notebook, which is this one is from Baumkuchen, um, traveler's company, of course, but they have um, done a customization for me. And I've got a couple of videos using this, showing this book off. Um, look at all the scratches it's been getting from being in my handbag. This year I've had this insert in here from traveler's company, but I just, I don't know. I just didn't really use it much. I didn't find myself gravitating towards it. I did at the beginning, of course, because that's what you do. Um, but I kind of fell off. So I, what I'm thinking is of putting this in here. I did have one in a weeks in my traveler's notebook for a while. Um, so I thought I might pop, pop it in here, even if when all these books are out, when this book is out, I just just place it in there and don't even um, add it to the strings I might do that I have card cover card um, pockets in here as well I'll show you all this properly when I do it set up um, but for now I've got credit cards and things showing in there so I better not show those um, in here I keep my pen which is the Sarasa uh, camel and then just some a $20, $20 note and some parking ticket things that I need so, uh, yeah, I think that's what's going to happen next year. We're going to have the this inside of here. And lastly, I have this one, this lilac planner with um, the Desenka cover on it. I have always wanted this cover and it came back into stock, so I grabbed it. And this is just your standard weeks as usual in the lilac. And now this may seem a bit silly I don't know tell me if you do this but I really wanted a planner for Gidget my little puppy I wanted to she's 13 now so you know she's getting on in age and I just wanted to it's not for health or anything although that will go in here but it's more to just make little notes about what she does she's so cute and she has such a personality uh, and she goes and stays with friends of mine when I'm traveling and I, I want them to write in here as well and experience this with me. I'm going to pop photos, one photo a week. I, I don't take enough photos of Gidget, which I used to, but I kind of don't anymore. So I just want to see her progress throughout the year. And I don't know, just dedicate this to her. So 
I thought the cover was perfect for for a Gidget pl planner or a Gidget journal. And yeah, I'm looking forward to that for next year. So Gidget, personal, social, and health is what I'm using my four weeks for. And of course the magic rainbow journal as well. Okay, so I'll move to the traveler's notebooks next. So I've got one more after this as well, but I'll start with these. So you've seen this one, my personal, um, this is my wallet as well as my personal planner. So we know what that one's gonna be used for. I'm currently using my little olive passport for a finance journal. So what I have in here is my sterling ink um, passport sized book with the gold edges. So I don't really wanna share the exact things in here, but basically what I'm doing is for the month, I'm tracking down here the expenses that I had for stationary purchases. And then on this side, I'm tracking the income that I have from any of the affiliate programs that I'm in and from YouTube as well. So just to get a bit of an idea of how much my little hobby is costing me. <laughs> um, but uh, also it helps me understand how long things to come to take it, how long things take to come in because uh, I'm tracking also the date ordered and the date received. So that's the passport, Olive. And then my passport blue, I think we've all seen before. Um, in here, I have my, what I'm calling my planner companion so I just have a grid insert here dot grid um, I have a sticker insert as well and then I have the uh, another grid insert and what I do in here is just track what I um, how I feel about the planning planners and journals that I'm using um, uh, any ideas for other ways to use them or layouts or um, things that are coming soon in purchasing in terms of purchasing things and how I might use them uh, what's working what's not working and then when Hobonichi season rolls around I do write a lot in here about what what I'd like to track and plan and journal and therefore what books I might need to do that in to do that with so I do have a couple of walkthroughs of this on my channel, I think, if you'd like to go have a look. So I think this is um, just going to stay as it is. It just sits beside me on the couch and I write in it when the mood strikes me. Undated again. And then lastly is my black standard TN. This is the first one that I bought um, in the from Baumkuchen and it's a very similar um, customization as the other what I'm going to use this one for is to pop it in my car I want to have a place to um, in here store the documents that you get with your car and the things you should have on you insurance and stuff so that you know all your details if you don't have your phone or whatever um, any any ephemera or whatever that I gather and then just a place to record you know, mileage and um, things that you get done to the car or things that happen to the car as well. And uh, this can also be used for some short notes for travel journaling as well, if I need to just, just write some quick notes about where we went or, you know, there's sometimes you want to just write down something that you saw or um, you've taken a photo of something and you want to record some details about it. I just wanted to have a place to do that in the car. And also what I love about this is it's got a spot to put your pens, to put a few pens in and uh, it's slim. So it can just go in the door of the car easily or um, in the glove box, no problem. So this is gonna be my car journal, I guess we're gonna call it. So car journal, wallet and personal planner, planner companion, and finances and that's my little TN lineup for 2024 so lastly I've pulled out this old cover from not old I've only had it a couple of years but uh, a Hobonichi cover and I just love it it's so beautiful the butterflies and in here I've just got an MD notebook and this one has a grid so I have from last year this one from 2023 
and I love this cute little setup it's so adorable and in here I've got my professional development so I did a mini MBA and um, all the notes from that are in there so what I wanted this to be is a professional and personal development book so again not dated so it can just continue with me and um, I'll probably just color code whether it's personal or professional development um, and then I also like to write some little blog posts. I used to write a lot of them on LinkedIn in the old days about my work or about marketing or about um, planning. And I've kind of stopped doing them. So I thought this could also be a place for me to store those particular things as well. I thought that might be quite interesting. And I do love this cover. Again, maybe I'll take the plastic off just to experience that tactile gorgeousness that comes with Hobonichi covers. So that's it. I'm not sure how many we ended up with. I feel like it's 20. So we've got, um, I, I might just lay them out and we'll see. We'll see what we've got. Okay, I think we can see everything in the frame here. Let's just count them. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I have 20 books here. Uh, many of them are ongoing. I'll, I'll use these here, um, ongoing. We've got our four dated ones here that I'll use um, just for 2024 and the work one just for 2024. And this memory planner is also, my, this memory keeper is also 2024 the and of course my journal my private journal i think the rest are undated so it does allow me to really set myself up for the years to come as well am i gonna not buy covers next year Pfft, no i'm sure i'll buy covers next year because this is my hobby and a passion i really love it my friends share this passion with me and you know, we all get a bit excited about Hobonichi season, I think, like most of us do, and new planner season. It's so much fun. I can't wait to set these up. I really have wanted to set them up for ages, but uh, as I said, I just lost I just lost a bit of mojo and got really busy with work and things as well. So hopefully we're back on track and I can start to set these up. Some of them require very little setup because they're just a... Um, because they're going to be... Uh, ongoing so I might not need to do much with them but I'd like to pop some things in the covers and stuff like that and I might do my setups in bunches I'll probably do the four weeks separately because they are quite separate ideas um, but yeah there's a lot to be done and excited to do it I'm very excited about finally having this all together um, I think um, some people will think this is excessive and I know it is. I don't need all of these. I could easily have a couple of cousins and cover everything, but I like to separate things. I love to set up planners. So having more of them means that I can set up more of them. It means I can create different content for you as well. You know, I have different styles. You can see this and this are incredibly different styles, right? And I love both styles, the minimal classic and the fun and bright and colorful and kawaii. So I wanna be able to show you both of those sides. I wanna be able to show you what my work planner looks like and how I organize myself that way. I feel like I am pretty organized at work. The rest, not so much. I tend to get a bit all over the place, but uh, it's fun and I really love this. I love this all so much. It just makes me happy. And finally today I felt like doing my setup and actually I was missing a couple of the Midori notebooks. I didn't, I didn't have, have any. So I've done a quick trip today to Bookbinders Design and uh, had a lovely chat to a couple of people there and was able to grab the things that I needed so that I could do this setup this afternoon. And it's a beautiful rainy day in here in Melbourne, which one of my favorite types of weather is the rainy day here in Melbourne. So I thought it was a good time to sit down and sort this out. I'm very excited, as you could probably tell, really excited about this lineup for 2024 and beyond. So let me know in the comments, do you also do 
the uh, setting yourself up for, for years to come? Do you have a lot of undated books that just carry on? Or are you very much a stay in 2024 and then move on to the next year? I've always been a move on to the next year girl and that's okay. Uh, it served me well. But this year I thought, you know what, I've got a lot of blank pages in books where I didn't quite fill them up or I decided to change my style or something happened and I didn't stay in the book. So I thought this was a good way to approach 2024 and we'll see what happens um, obviously we'll be checking in every month and um, I usually post a couple of times a week um, but I'll definitely be posting at least once a week so we'll be catching up on what's going on um, I'll do plan with me's and journal with me videos that's the plan anyway I hope I hope I can um, stick to that um, I haven't been setting up a work planner I've been in a different planner this year and I don't haven't been doing the weekly setups which has made me less organized than I normally am. I really do prefer to have that Sunday afternoon map out the week and get a good idea of what's happening. I feel like that really grounds me for the week uh, and I'm able to really have a much more organized and successful week at work when I do it that way. So Mojo is back, <laughs> yay. And we're gonna start doing some cool stuff. So thanks so much for watching. And uh, thanks for returning if you are a, a ongoing viewer. I know I've been away for a little while, as I said. And if you're new, welcome again. And thanks so much for being here. I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of my Techo Kagi for 2024 and beyond. Uh, and yeah, I'd love to hear from you in the comments um, or over on Instagram. Just let me know if we have any similar planners. I know we must because I have so many of them. <laughs> and also planning systems. I'm very keen to hear about planning systems. It's such a, a inspirational time of year to watch the new setup videos and see how people use things. I've got new ideas already just from watching some videos over the last few days. And I'm keen to put those into action. Really excited to start and... I guess I should stop talking so that I can do that. The first thing I'm going to do is gather all of my stickers and die cuts and, you know, all those kinds of things because currently I have them scattered in numerous pouches and bags and containers. So I think tonight is, is the plan for me is to go through all that stuff and sort out what's what. Just to give you a really quick overview of how I came up with my plans, it's a couple of different ways, but the last thing I did was um, pop into this gorgeous book again, and I used September because I started this book in October. So I used September to map out all my books so my work planner a5 cousin the go marry a thousand sons logbook and my b6 slim midori clear cover notebook and i mapped out what i want to store in each section yearly monthly weekly etc i made some questions to myself um my personal planner my personal journal um some ideas i had i said here maybe this could be a week's instead be inside of my um stan and tn and that's how i've ended up going collage journal creative journal and you see there's a second half of the page here that isn't filled out i think it is in a minute so i'll just move along a little bit further social and memory so for my planner companion i've said here peon and magical i kind of want to have that um you know the peon girl stickers or or washi uh pet tapes and kind of that magical look so celestial kind of look um, this is just, ref I said referency because it's a reference manual, reference book. Um, same here. Simple, neutral and minimal for the finances. Um, happy, magic, positivity, colour and fun for the Rainbow Journal. Cute, kawaii, love and fun for Gidget. So I've kind of just put together, I've started putting together some ideas for how I want to decorate or not decorate each one. So um, I thought that was really useful. You know, I started doing my planner companion, writing out what I wanted, but those pages became just too tiny for my lists. So then I moved into, so I moved into this cousin, uh, Avec, and I wrote it out this way, creative journal, A6 little gifts, A6 Midori, junk journaling art, 
etc. And I just wrote it out over two pages. Some of them I didn't use anymore. And then I moved into the um, into this one instead and really just dedicated one page for each um, book so that I could really, really spread out and decide what I want to do. So this will probably come with me tonight to the couch. And was, as I'm going through all my stickers and things, I'll start to um, make more notes in here about the kinds of stuff I want to store and um, create, decorate with. Okay, guys, thanks so much again for watching. I have waffled on way more than I thought I would, but I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. I know many of you like a good chatty video and you tell me so, and I'm very glad to hear it because I do like to chat. <laughs> so thanks again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm very excited to hear about what you're using for 2024 and anything we have in common. And um, I will see you very soon in another video setting up some of these gorgeous goodies. All right. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I will see you all super, super soon. Bye.